All right, so it's Saturday, November the 12th, and uh, we're here to um, put this garden bed to bed. Um, the weather prognosticators are talking about it getting significantly colder uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to be a high of 2, whereas today is a high of 12 or 14 or something along those lines. Um, We've had a bit of rain over the last little while, which is not a problem for us, but you can see the accumulation on the, uh, the tarp that we've got here. And Trisha right now, so I'll just give you another viewing of what's going on inside the chicken coop. Because we'll do a little bit of... of uh, work in here as well, or uh, on the outside, trimming. Looks like they've got a good place to be. It's uh, significantly warmer in here, because uh, you don't get any of the wind. the wind from the outside. And I think you get a little bit of radiation that's warming it up. A little bit. You can tell that they've been going to town on the uh, on the feed, they do a very poor job of keeping things neat. It's all over the ground. They're making up for yesterday. Yeah. And so there's their new water, and that one can be uh, plugged in so that we can uh, give some heat to it, and make sure that it stays. Um, Un yeah, so <laughs> that it doesn't doesn't freeze. freeze itself, and so we're giving them some greens, and they've got some some uh, leftover oatmeal from this morning, and they seem to enjoy that a lot. They've got some tops of the carrots as well, and uh, yeah, they seem to be thriving. So it's good to see. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get to the main job for this afternoon. So we have to clean up the, the garden, uh, get some straw laid down. And then pull the tarp over top, put stones along the edges. Um, and then I need to do a little bit of trimming on the actual greenhouse itself. And then to finish off the afternoon, we just purchased a uh, um, a tree um, so that uh, we can plant that as well. Um, we need to get into the ground so that it can uh, start um, putting its roots out or well, uh, early next spring. Um, oh, I, the, here's another thing that I have to do. I also have to put all of the um, the hoses away because we're done for the, with them for the year. Anyways, so let's get started. So hi there. We're just finishing up our day here. So uh, our little recap, we've finished putting the tarp straw on our garden and then the tarp and rocks to hold it down over the winter. 
We did this one last week with our grandchildren and so on. Um, we're securing the greenhouse a little bit, brought in chicken feed, and uh, yeah, just overall maintenance. Now the last thing we have to do is plant some trees. Whether we do that now or I think we'll do that tomorrow. But um, we bought a tree and uh, sunburst locust. So we hope to plant that with some hydrangeas out in the front of the house. So our, our landscaping is starting around the house anyways. But it's a good time in the fall to plant some trees and some bushes. You get them at a discount price and they are dormant already so you put them in and then they will start rooting right away in the spring when they can and yeah the ground isn't frozen yet so we can still plant them anyways talk to you soon and have a good weekend bye for now oh so as you can see it's still saturday and we decided that because of the good good weather tomorrow's going to get colder we might as well plant these trees and hydrangeas so here they are here's our sunburst locust tree and that's a special tree for us since we've had one in pretty well all the houses that we've lived in in ontario anyways and uh, it gives diffuse light it's a nice 10 foot tree and we got it at a good price and uh, so you get diffused light from that one because it's got little little tiny leaves so it's a great semi-shade tree so we hope that when the sun is coming from this direction that it will partly shade my studio window and then right in front there we started to plant hydrangeas and yeah I think we're going to plant some other greenery kind of behind it and, and beside it uh, but we'll wait till the unless I come across some good deals but otherwise we'll wait till the spring so that's it for now and uh, yeah have a great weekend have a good Sunday and uh, we will See you next time. Bye for now.